I get it. Calling final expense leads can be not a lot of fun at times, but I'm going to give you the pros and cons of working final expense telesales leads as well as final expense face-to-face -face leads that are in the digital format. This is something that frustrates a lot of agents because when they actually get after it, they didn't know a couple things that I'm going to share with you in this video. So before I get started, my name is Jason. I'm your friend in the industry, and I'm so blessed to recruit and partner with powerful insurance agents as well as agencies that align here to sell life, Medicare, and annuities nationally with us face-to-face, -face, but more importantly, in the telespace. So free resources for your taking, regardless of what work family you call a home, at jasonfinalexpense.com, and I hope this content helps you. So first off, when you look at a final expense lead, specifically a digital final expense lead, you've got to look at that like, I got to get on it now. When that lead comes in, you've got to be ready to pursue Sue pushing the numbers. I know the phone can seem like a 10,000 pound elephant, okay, uh, sitting on your lap, but you've got to look at this like right now I need to make a call. This is a call to action when that lead comes in. Insurance agents that are second in line, let me tell you, if you're coming in second, you're the first loser right now because if the call came in or the lead came in digitally today, whether it's an SEO final expense lead or a Facebook final expense lead, what's going to happen is that is now throwing everything into the little algorithm, the news feed. So it comes in today and you decide, oh, I'm going to let my lead stack up and I'm going to call them tomorrow. That's going to take your lunch money like that big kid at school maybe did to you when you were younger. That's no good. If you want to eat, if you want to engage with consumers, you cannot be second. You've got to look at it like, uh oh, that, that, that big person, uh, okay, that really hungry person, that person over there is going to come eat my lunch. You've got to look at this like move now. Movement's important. Because I had an agent today that waited to call leads, and you know what happened? Oh, I called them, and they they already bought yeah, they already bought because you didn't move with big steps of action. The second person is the first loser. You've got to really engage. Now, does that mean you lose on all the opportunities? Of course not. But this is the reality of the business. You've got to be ready that you know your script, you know your rebuttals. If you know that, lean in when that lead comes in right now. If I had a lead that came in over the weekend, you know what I'd do? I'd get on the phone and work that lead. I wouldn't let him just stack up and go stale. This is like anything else. You don't just let it go loosey-goosey. You've got to look at that lead like I got to do a lot of work. When that lead comes in, I'm just going to work the lead. I can always schedule a follow-up call, worst case scenario, but I need to be first in line like that happy kid at a buffet, all right? And I love food. Do you love food? Well, put in the comments if you do. Amuse me. But I'm telling you, you got to be ready to take care of business because this is a business and a digital lead is all about speed to lead. The shelf life, not super great, but it's a super good lead and you can have tremendous opportunity, but look at it like, uh-oh. I can't delay. You've got to do more sometimes, and the business looks like work. 90% of insurance agents industry-wide will fail because they fail to look at a lead like an opportunity to have a killer conversation to bring value. Instead, they let the lead stack up and go, oh, I'm going to do that tomorrow. Well, tomorrow will take your success away today, and your buyer intent, believe it or not, is lowering the longer that you wait to reach out and get a hold of these leads. Now, can sales happen on the second, third, and fourth call or attempt? Of course. That's a statistic fact. But you've got to face the music and know that I got to do more right now when that lead comes in. Put your foot to the floor. Go, go, go. Don't delay. So delaying will cost you an insane amount of dollars. Now, another thing that you got to be real mindful of when you're touching final expense leads is distractions. Distractions are going to cost you dollars as well. Distractions when you're on the phone pursuing the lead – is going to make you feel over the phone, and feelings are real when they're felt by someone else. The feelings over the phone are going to be, this person doesn't care. This person's just giving me a mouthful of marbles of words in a script and saying bye for me, basically, when you condense it down. You cannot be distracted. If you're having a good date, you've got to be dead focused on the amazing person across the table from you if you want good things to happen. In the insurance industry, if you want good things to happen with the leads, look at that lead like this is a great person I get to know. I get to figure out their story and what they want me to bring as a solution to maybe something that they've been struggling with for a long time, like the cost of cremation or burial, etc. They may want it 
for other things, but you've got to take the time to ask. Ask questions. Questions control calls, but questions are going to allow you to get to know them so that then and only then you can maybe explain a product that will be a powerful solution. But you've got to take the time. Don't be distracted by your phone. Get rid of those things. Sometimes you don't need more discipline. You need less distractions. Eliminate the noise so that when that new lead comes in, you're laser focused on that person. The world just melts and you're going to give your client more. Focus on them, but speed to lead, crazy important. Number two, focus on them and only them. And you've got to tune out everything else going on, the YouTube space, the bings on your phone, your friends texting you, everybody else calling you so that you don't call it quits. 90% of the agent force fails because they maybe failed to buy enough leads, but then maybe they got distracted when they were on the phone. They just kind of went half, you know what? You got to be all in on those phone calls. Make them your focus so that you won't fail like 90% of the agent force does. And there's no guarantee of survival in this space. It's a performance-based business. You're going to get paid what you're worth. Some days you're overpaid. Some days you're underpaid. But action will help solve your problems, period. In an industry that can be painful at times, it's not all unicorns and rainbows calling leads. Now, number three, look at a lead, especially digitally. Like when this lead gets populated, it's going to get put on the news feed. It's going to be put in the little algorithm that's going to – Really throw it in front of everybody else. Oh, no, they're giving my lead away. This isn't an exclusive lead. Uh, yeah, it is until you sit on it, okay? And that isn't going to turn into a little chick when you're sitting on those eggs. You've got to engage right now because the Facebook algorithm, TikTok, and everything else, when you're having these leads created or making them, it's going to be a position where maybe other people are going to be calling your person. It's your lead. But that one person is getting marketed by so many other people right now. You've got to look at this like, i got to move, man. i got to move if I want to make this work. And the business can work if you work the business. So when that lead comes in, know that other things are taking place that are unseen by you. Speed to lead, once again, is key. That lead is exclusive until they fill out another form or until a marketer makes their way in front of that client or prospect, and they go, oh, what do you got there? What do they got there? Ah, push the learn more button. I'll push this button here and there. You've got to be big in action so that when that happens, you're their guy, you're their gal. And if you can handle that script and take care of that client in a better way, you may find you really have what it takes. But a final expense telesales lead will tell you a lot of things. The next point is you got to be ready for the pain of objection handling. It's not a big deal. You should be prepared for it before it comes at you. So you've got to be ready for, I don't got time for this. Mail it to me. I didn't do this. I thought it was free 99. Never be in a place ego caustic. Don't turn into a high pressure insurance agent. That's not what this business is about. You've got to believe in yourself and have good core trainings so that you can translate when the client says this everything back. Objection handling is about having the response already at the ready. So it's like no big deal. It's not an issue. Be intent on helping the client win, but be ready for objections. Be ready with your script. Be extremely proficient. It's not about you being perfect. I'm not perfect, and I've been in this industry over 20 plus years, two plus decades. Be one that can be engaged with that consumer. Free yourself from distractions. Like I say, you don't always need all right, more discipline. Sometimes you need less distractions, less noise, and knowing enough that when that lead comes in, you launch into one thing, and that's move right now. I'm going to work like my career depends on it because I know it will. That very prospect may have other ads put in front of them. Oh, no. Work with everything so that you can engage with more people, and the more hands you shake, the more money you can make, right? As they say, but selling insurance is all about solving their problems, not you slinging your product, even though that's a byproduct of what we do. I hope this helps you, but understand now we've got to move with everything that's in us if we want a chance of getting everything that we desire in this industry. If you need any resources or good leads, jasonfinalexpense.com. I appreciate you.